Good to be here. All right, lots of uh, attractive ladies here tonight. Let me hear the ladies. All right, I got a question for you ladies. So, uh, would you hit this? What are you thinking? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just wanted to get a gauge right there, because uh, the reason I ask, I just read this on the internet, that women make up their mind within 10 seconds of seeing or being introduced to a guy if they would have sex with him or not. So I've been up here about 20 seconds now, so ladies, huh? Yeah? Yeah, all right, cool. Well, I'm wondering, this is the, the, the most puzzling thing about this to me is, I'm like, wow, 10 seconds, they make that decision? And I, as a guy, am thinking, what took you so long to do that? Right, guys walk in and instantly do this, right? They walk into a club, they're like, yes, 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 no, maybe at 2 a.m., yes, no, yes. <laughs> Seriously, that's a lot of, next time you're introduced to a girl, just be like, oh my God, would you? I don't know, would you? I don't know. But I love, uh, I love, uh, I shouldn't really do that joke anymore because I am engaged now, so sorry, ladies. Yeah, I'm engaged, yeah. <laughs> I'm engaged to a Canadian girl. Any uh, Canadians, yeah, no? Uh, yeah, really. She's, uh, she's awesome. But every time we get into an argument, it becomes like a, uh, a fight between countries, you know? We'll get into a fight and she'll start being, oh, Americans are all obnoxious, you know? And I'm like, whatever, you're Canadian. Canada's America's little hat, you know? And, uh, you know, she'll be like, well, why, why are you the only country that, that uses gallons and miles and not, and not meters and liters? I'm like, I don't know, because we're awesome. Yeah, all right. USA, USA, you know? And then I punch her right in the face. <laughs> because they have free health care up there, you know? Like, I think if they don't use it, they lose it or something. That's what I heard. It's her favorite joke and her mom's. All right, uh, but no, I, I do love coming to the club, Pasadena. I love Pasadena, people from Pasadena here. I know, yeah, it's a great town. I have an idea how to improve this area a little more. It's already a great area, but you know what would be great? A few more one-way streets. That would be fantastic, yeah. <laughs> It's not confusing enough to find the club. If you miss it, you have to go to Victorville to turn around and uh, hit the outlet shops. Oh, look, Nike. All right, we're coming back to the ice house. And I missed Lake again. All right. But have a good time. You know, come to a comedy show is always a good time. Uh, don't drink and drive when you leave the club. I know there's people drinking. Uh, hopefully, we have designated drivers here, right? Right. Yeah. <laughs> One in the back. You're going to be doing a lot of driving back there. You know? Some people looked at each other like, oh, that's right. Yeah. Don't drink a drive. I got pulled over leaving this club one time. This is true. I leave the club a couple months ago. I get pulled over by a cop. He comes up and he goes, have you been drinking tonight? And I was honest. I said, yeah, I had three beers. I was working, doing a show at the Ice House. And the cop, this is a true story. The cop goes, oh, are you a comedian? I'm like, yeah. I swear, this is what he says. He goes, oh, are you on Coke tonight? What? I'm like, is that a stereotype that everyone thinks about? I'm like, I don't know, are you on donuts tonight? You know? I'm like... So I'm face down on the hood of the car, you know? I'm like, I told you I was a comedian. So the guy gives me a ticket, I'm not lying, he gives me a $200 ticket for an aggressive start. He said I took off too fast, he said I took off too fast. I hit my gas pedal, it was like I was too fast, whatever. So I get this ticket for 200 bucks, I'm like this, this is, I don't believe this. So I'm gonna appeal it, I go down for the arraignment, I come back for the court date, I'm all ready to fight it. Guess what, cop didn't even show up, they had to send me a check for $200 back. Thank you very much, yes. I always appeal, you know. So I took the money and I went out and bought an eight ball and uh, you know, I just put it right on my dash. Should have pulled me over tonight, you weren't that don't do drugs. <laughs>